Welcome back to McFall Farms, where we believe strongly in faith, family, and farm life. I'm Bo McFall. Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble a spinning jenny for high tensile wire or smooth wire. And we're going to show you that quick assembly process. So let's get right to it. Today we're going to be assembling the Dare fence wire spinning jenny. Uh, this is actually the model 2420 and we've already broke it open, laid out the parts here, give you an idea of what we're working with. Already got my 10 millimeter sockets and ratchets to go with that to start the assembly. Should be all we need. Pretty simple set of instructions, doesn't look too difficult, so let's see how it goes together. So basically according to the instructions, we take this spoke plate assembly, line up what they're calling a spoke, on the spoke plate assembly to the holes line up. It shows on the instructions bolts coming in through the bottom, come up through the bottom with two bolts. It's a nylon lock nut on each one of those. These aren't huge bolts, so I would say do not over tighten these. Would be my recommendation. So we'll snug these down. these two bolts down all the way then we're going to repeat this process four times for the other th well three more times for the other three spokes I'm not going to bore you with that we're going to slide right behind go right on to step two all right so we got four spokes installed on the Jenny first we're going to install the what they're calling the arms or the adjustable wire holders you can see there's three holes in each one of the spokes that gives you the ability to set your spokes wherever you need them, depending on the size of spoolable wire. Uh, this will hold up to 4,000 foot spools of 12 and a half gauge wire. Uh, I think it'll even do larger wire, but it'll hold up to 4,000 foot spools. So the last thing is these arms, which essentially we're just going to take a bolt, one bolt screws directly on all the way up, set the hole that you desire it in, whichever one's going to work for you. We're using 4,000 foot rolls, so I'm thinking mine's going to be this very outside one. And then thread your wing nut on the bottom to lock it all down. And what that allows you to do is when you go to install your wire, you will be able to take and loosen that wing nut and adjust the thickness of this to, to depend on the size of the spool. You can loosen that swing these arms in, set your roll over the top, turn it back around, and lock it down. So we're going to repeat this step four times as well, and then we'll take you around on the next step. Okay, we've got all four of the adjustable wire holders and the adjustable arms in place, all four of the spokes. We've got assembled per instructions. And then the last piece of the puzzle, you, these arms will fold in like so, allow you to set your wire over the top, fold those back out and lock them down. Uh, that's going to keep that wire from unspooling or coming off the reel. And then the last piece is this spindle, which is going to stake down in the ground and drive it down with a sledgehammer here on top and then set the spool holder on top of it. And that actually is just going to simply slide in the bottom, just like that. And that's how it's going to sit and function. Once everything's attached, that'll spin. As you pay out your wire, that'll turn to allow you to That'll turn to allow you to continue to feed your wire as a one-man operation and to eliminate tangling is the plan. So we're going to show you this one last time as we put it together. We've got it all assembled. We're going to carry it over where we're going to be working at, throw a spool of wire on it, and uh, see how it works out. Okay, so we're going to drive the 
stake down in the ground, set the jenny on it, and then install the wire. So we had to adjust our arms, had to bring them in a notch with the size wire spool we have in this 12 and a half gauge high tensile on this dare spinning jenny. And all we have to do is lay the wire over there, turn these back out. And then set this on top of the stake. Tighten everything down, cut the bands, and we'll be ready to feed wire. Alright, we got all the bands cut. Now let's see how it rolls out. Alright, well that is the spinning jenny assembled, put together, ready to go, and we're gonna be using that to do a high tensile fence install, which I'll leave a link, a card over here to, some, to that video. Thanks for following. If you haven't yet, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching McFall Farms.